I'm Christine Charbonnier. I'm a makeup artist and today I'm going to show you how I created this glowing, radiant, blushy berry makeup on Emily De Donato for the SI 2020 issue in Wyoming. I really loved creating a makeup that really worked well in the environment. We were out in nature, we were in the mountains, and I didn't want her makeup to look too makeup-y. I wanted it to look like something that she would wear every day, but just a little elevated. I have prepped my skin with skincare. I cleansed with Bioderma and a cotton pad, and then I popped on the Augustina Spader the cream. I love this cream under makeup. It's not too emollient, so it's not gonna make the makeup move around throughout the day. I also prepped my lips with the Laneige Lip Mask. I love this one to soak in during makeup. First, I'm gonna start with a sunscreen. This is Glow Screen by Supergoop. You wanna make sure you apply this over the entire face, especially up on the forehead and eyebrows where the sun will hit your face the most. I'm also gonna apply it to my neck. Definitely don't forget to cover your ears. I decided to use the Armani Silk Foundation on Emily. I love this one for every day and I love this one for photo shoots. If you pop a powder on top of it, it can kind of tone down the radiance that it has for um, combination skin and it does last a lot throughout the day but still looks natural. I usually cannot wear one color of a foundation so I'm gonna pop on the lighter color in number three and then one shade darker in 3.5. I'm going to take the same brush that I applied my sunscreen with and just kind of swoosh that around on the back of my hand. And then I start from the outside of my face just to get my neck and my face the same color and to not apply too much foundation through my T-zone to start. It gives such a beautiful radiance to the skin. I do need to use a little powder to set. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Matte Foundation. I love this Fit Me powder because it adds such a beautiful coverage and it sits really well on top of most foundations. I'm gonna start with brows. I feel like Emily has such big, beautiful brows. She has much more brow hair than I. I feel like her eyebrow hair is a little bit lighter than mine. So I wanna create a bigger, fuller brow, but I don't wanna make my eyebrows look much darker. I'm gonna use the Taupe Pencil by NYX. This is a micro brow pencil. All right, I'm going to use an eyeshadow pen. It's the Dual Ended Longwear Cream Shadow Stick by Bobbi Brown. I love these for longwear, especially on photo shoots, especially on shoots where they could get in the water or be sweaty or in the sun all day. So I'm gonna pop on Dusty Mauve all over my eye. Then I'm going to take a brush, just a little blending brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk Blending Brush and just buff this out all over my lid. It works really well as an eyeshadow base or on its own, you can see. All right, next I'm gonna top it with an eyeshadow. I love this Nine Times palette by MAC and the color is Sable. I'm just gonna pop it on the same brush and put it right on top of that pin. All right, next I'm gonna do my brow bone. I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Highlighter I love this highlighter. I use this on myself every day. I am just gonna pop this up on my brow bone. Since I have more long wear eye products on my eyes, I want to add a glow and a radiance to make the eyes look more natural and radiant and not be too powdery and makeup-y. I'm now gonna take the same color, the sable, and just put it into my lash line. I wanna bring the color around the eye, but I didn't want to close off Emily's eyes. I wanted them to look really big and accentuate her bright green blue eye color. Today I'm going to use my go-to L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I didn't use a waterproof mascara because we weren't at the beach on this shoot. We were in the mountains in Wyoming, and I really wanted to be able to build the lash and add more mascara throughout the day. And a lot of times when you add waterproof mascara, you're just kind of stuck with that lash for the rest of the day. And it's also really hard to get off. Now that I have my eyes on, I am going to add a little bit of contour to my face. I use the shade and illuminate palette by Tom Ford. I like to use it with this Clarins brush. This is a synthetic angled brush. It has really good thickness to it. So it fits right underneath my cheekbone really well. Just going 
to go right under my cheekbone, can go up on to the forehead to add color like a bronzer. All right, now that we have a little more color in the face and a light contour, I'm gonna do the lip. This is the most exciting part of the tutorial because I learned about some pretty cool lip products from Emily on the photo shoot and I've been using them ever since on myself, just for every day. She suggested using the Chubby Stick by Clinique. One is Fuller Fig and one is Broadest Berry. First, I'm going to kiss off my lip mask. I like to use a lip liner. I'm gonna use the Superstay Ink Crayon by On The Grind. I love it because it is just really taupey and neutral, but it's cool toned. So it's not gonna look too brown or orange on my skin. I like to take my fingers and just sort of rub it into the lips. So this is the Broadest Berry Chubby Stick. I'm just gonna apply it on top. I just love the way that this one photographed throughout the day. This is like the color of Emily's natural lip color, which is way more intense than mine. She has those beautiful sort of deep, very natural lips and those bright blue eyes. So this is what I would do if I were to recreate the look on myself. I'm gonna add a little bit of cheek color and I'm just gonna take the broadest berry that I had on my lips and I am going to pop it right on my cheekbones. So we have a cream blush that is very close to the natural berry lip. It just looks flushy, like you've sort of heated up and it's coming from within the skin. It's not too blushy or powdery. Two more things to finish the look. I am going to add a blotting powder. This one I cannot live without. This is the Prep and Prime Blotting Powder by MAC Cosmetics. It is a clear powder which works on every skin tone. It doesn't look ashy on darker skin tones and that's really hard to find. So I'm going to take a brush. This is the Face Stockholm number 41. I am just going to press this really good into my T-zone so I do not move around the makeup. And there you have it. This is my recreation of the gorgeous, natural, beautiful makeup on Emily De Donato. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and learned some new products or techniques to do this beautiful makeup. And I hope you enjoy recreating it on yourself at home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon.